Hello guys, welcome back for episode number two on track making in Track Day R. In the second episode, I'm gonna show you how you can use a height map if you have it. Height map in this case is just gonna be the uh, grayscale image that if you have uh, a track made in Photoshop, let's say, or if you have a height map available from, I don't know, maybe your old project and stuff like that. This won't be a 3D import. This will be just the image import. And I'm gonna show you two ways on how you can do that. The first way you can do that is you go over to window. Uh, you go over to terrain, terrain toolbox. And here you're gonna see import height map. I'm gonna click on that and see there is the select button here. Let's put our track. I have an image for reference. Let's say I have this image right here. I'm gonna put it in the project first. And then I'm gonna put it here. So before you go further, here you see in the general settings the size of the terrain and the height of the terrain. So the size of the terrain is gonna be very important to look at the size of the picture you just imported. So let's go have a look. So this size is 257 by 257. So it's very important that we use the same value here. Otherwise it's gonna come out very, very strange. So we're just gonna import it like this. And then for the terrain height, you usually have to try and play around with it. I would suggest that, oh, this height is in meters, by the way. I would suggest you to um, start off with, like, let's say the highest peak that you want. It's going to be the highest number here. So let's say that the highest mountain is like 40 meters. We're going to put 40. And then once we are done, we're going to go here and we're going to press create. What that's going to do is create the track. And there is no textures on it or anything. This is just like the base. But we can do something very quick to see the textures. And we still have our whole terrain here. So we can select that. And we can go into the paint texture. Save as. It's going to save like the terrain layers and stuff like that. We're just going to press yes. Now we go over to the other terrain that we've made and we're going to select this so our terrain right now you can see it has the textures and everything once you've done that you can pretty much just go over to the older terrain and you can just get rid of it right like this and this is gonna be your starting point as you can see it still needs a lot of work in this case 40 meters was way too much is gonna be way too steep and everything so what you do in this case you go over again to terrain terrain toolbox and you do it all over again but this time maybe you can try like the lower number until you kind of reach the height that you want or there is another method which is the method that I usually use and let's see if we can go back okay the other method, which in my opinion is a bit easier and less work, is you go into your terrain and you go see to the right of your screen the brushes, you go new brush and you select the height map that you just imported. So very important here guys, when you import new brushes, you must do this, you go into here you press open and the fall off curve must be reset to zero so you press like this and you set it to zero otherwise it's, it's gonna come out like a little bit rounded on everything and it's gonna look pretty bad so once you've uh, put your brush and you reset it to zero all you have to do is go here where you see set height and you select stamp terrain what this is gonna do is do a quick stamp of your brush on the terrain but before you do that, you uh, kind of give the size of the brush that you want. So in this case, you see the brush is way too small. Like this is the entire track on this brush. And you kind of do the size that you want. Like this. And 
you then select the strength the strength makes the height of the uh, of the stamp so let's say I want to go extreme I put the stamp at 100% place it and then when I click you see that it did stamp the, uh, the terrain you can always play around with this you can stamp it more than once if you keep the uh, the brush on the correct location you can stamp it like as many times as you want so this is a very quick way to kind of build the track without going into the terrain toolbox and finding and fiddling around with uh, the terrain height and everything this usually works pretty well for me i usually use this technique pretty much always in this case the brush uh, size of the image like the image size was a little bit too low and you can see the quality when I stamp it is not that great but if you have a higher resolution image it's gonna come out even better so that's all for today guys I hope you enjoyed this tutorial stay tuned for part 3 where I'm going to show you how to use brushes and what they do and yeah if you guys enjoyed please hit the like button and subscribe to the channel see you in the next one peace